All right, welcome back to Mass Effect. Today we are going to uh, do Garrus' loyalty mission, which was tracking down the guy that was selling organs to people. Um, and off camera, I went to the Citadel and bought a bunch of shit. And I will show you all the shit I bought here in a second. But let's grab Garrus, let's grab Liara, and go Team Venture. All right. That is my new assault rifle. I'm looking more at the armor. Um, That's cool looking armor. Yeah, Liara also has the same armor, but um, this assault rifle is part of a set of gear called the Spectre Master gear, and all of the Spectre Master equipment is the best gear in the game. Hmm. So um, that will do us good. Okay. Do us well. Sadly, I have nothing for Garrus. Uh, I should probably put points and stuff. Um. Oh, hey, we can get Stasis advanced. Nice. Um. And then next, I think I'm gonna jack up her first aid all the way. And Garrus has nothing, so let's just auto level him up because I don't care. And I think we're good. All right. Wait, did I level Shepard up? Yes, I did. Yeah. All right. Alright, everyone's good. Everyone's awesome. I can't wait to try out my shiny new assault rifle. Should probably quick save before we get into combat here. Otherwise bad things Let's might happen to me. Where to? Uh, Italian or Mexican? What do you mean? Oh! Ha! Ones ha! 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 <laughs> it, it took me a second. Oh god, test subjects! Oh god, test subjects! Uh oh. Shit! 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 I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Liara, are you okay? Oh my god! Eh, kill fire. Hi! Hi, guys! Garrus instantly died. Oh no, this is gone. Horribly off the start. We are okay. We are doing work. This is creepy. That guy. Okay. That's it. Bag him and tag him. As you can see, our new Spectre Master Gear is really awesome. Look at how slow this thing is to overheat. And how wow. the aiming thing doesn't even, like, expand. It's All these guns are super accurate, do insane damage, and take forever to overheat. Mm. So, we're rocking some really good fire bleh, firepower now. Um, and I gave Tally a new pistol and a new shotgun. Liara doesn't really need weapons all that much. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. <laughs> Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. I trust Garrus. He's done his research on this. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Take cover! That was... Satisfying. <laughs> he didn't get to shoot him. I did shoot him. He just died so fast because of my gun. I'm, well, I'm. I was more taken aback by the fact that they actually let you play there instead of just Garrus popping his head off. Yeah, it was I a little, figured that would happen. It was a little weird. Um, that was satisfying. I think we're done Good. here. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. Jeez, that's not what I you were saying at all. Well, I guess we're done here. He said what you wanted to say. Let's see. Saleon's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, but pale blue. Or no. Okay. So on, on investigating this place, we determined that it, it is it was definitely the guy. So. 
So this was uh, quite the brief adventure. Yeah, it was just going to a place, um, popping a guy in the skull and then leaving, basically. But I knew I knew pretty much it was going to be, so I wasn't too. Uh, I bet the critics it. were upset that this wasn't actually a DLC. Because they didn't get a chance to say, I can't believe I paid five dollars for a piece of shit. They didn't put anything into this level. It's so stupid. It's shit. It's cockadoo fucking shit. I've been watching way too many game grumps. <laughs> oh my it's god. Your fault. I'm so happy. Look what I got. For Liara. Woo hoo Mmm, <laughs> big upgrade. B big money. Big money. I like it. Alright. Um, and then Garrus, I'm just gonna give him some new armor, cause, like, he's here. We were, we were even talking in our last section about, about, um, reviewers, and how we review games and stuff, as opposed to, like, the AVGN and other reviewers like that, and it's like, I kind of, I kind of feel like it might get to a point where, like, reviewers might actually be upset that games are decent, because they don't get to, like, complain about anything. I don't know. I don't think it'll ever get to that point, because games are just getting worse and worse on average, especially with AAA titles and stuff. I mean, we're we're complaining for good reason, in most cases, I think. I, I could never imagine a situation where um, I would be upset that a game was too good, but mm -hmm. maybe that's just... Actually, hang on a second. I'm gonna explore this place a little bit more cut the cut the thing right now. Okay, on this planet we're investigating something, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't, don't we I do that on every planet? I, I didn't. I didn't really read the briefing on this one. I Good just kind of. I just kind of saw what we needed to do, and I was like, "Uh, screw it. Okay." Shepard, did you save the Solarian colonists? Oh, I thought I was supposed to kill them. Shepard. Oh, I remember what this was. This was the um the ex Jenny when we were on that that planet and on Pharos, we um. We uh, uncovered something about Cerberus working on this planet, so we're here to stop Cerberus, actually. Okay. If I remember right. We found a random pyramid! Look at it, it's a random pyramid. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, it was close. Oh, Banshee 7. Another Omni tool. Um, is there anything on the pyramid? Oh, crate. Cover. Artifact. Neat. Shit! Oh, Prothean, Prothean data, data, disc. data disc. Wasn't that a thing we needed? Yeah, it is. But I'm probably not going to be getting all of them. Oh, there's more than one? There's like... Fuck! God damn it! Shit! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I get so freaked out by those little stupid things. <laughs> Alright, that was completely pointless. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more anomalies. Fuck that. Alright, let's go for that debris. We came across the first thing, and there's zombies. Zombies we can play soccer with. Soccer zombies. Guys, <laughs> have mercy. The entire colony must have been transformed. Tally, were you shooting at me? I'm really mad that I can't remember the name of the Transformers base. Because that would have been a great time to name drop him. For Liara's comment. What did Liara say? I wasn't even paying attention. The entire colony must have been transformed. And I was like, they were living in Vector Sigma or whatever, but I can't remember the name of that giant transformer, so uh, that joke doesn't work. Is it Unicron? No. No, he's the planet. Oh. The Autobot base on Earth was itself a transformer. Oh. Did they ever take him out for tea? I mean, you know, you know, if you're living inside someone who's sentient, you would think that you would be like, 
hey, just letting you know, we really appreciate you <laughs> for allowing us to be in your pregnant stomach. Think we got him, Commander. Yeah, that would have been nice. I don't f remember. At the same ever time, though, it's just like he's probably just likes the company. I would hope he did. Because otherwise he'd probably be just like, freaking things crawling inside of me. He's like fat bastard from uh, Austin Powers. Get in my belly. This creepy ass movie. I hate that character. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I could have done without him too. Like everyone thought he was funny when I was in high school, but I was just like, guys, no. I thought he was funny the first time I saw the movie. And every other time I saw the movie, I am like, okay, this is, isn't actually funny at all. A locked crate down there. He started singing the uh, Chili's Baby Back Rib song. The whole theater erupted in laughter, and I'm sitting there going, what? I don't what? understand why this is Finally funny. Some action. And I didn't even realize that Chili's had a song about baby back ribs. All targets down. It completely went over my head. I didn't either. Because I... Don't eat at Chili's. I didn't at the time, so. I don't remember ever watching a Chili's commercial where they actually talked about their baby back ribs. Apparently, they had that commercial was like old, and because of its inclusion in Austin Powers, Chili's decided to resurrect that slogan, the jingle. I mean, and bring it back. So they use it. They used it again after, but I guess it had fallen out of use by the time. Uh, Austin Powers 2 came out, which oh. continued to, which, uh, you know, that adds to the reason why I didn't hear of it, because I probably, you know, I was probably too young to have seen the commercial. That makes sense. But yeah, those, those movies just evolved into a whole bunch of pop culture references, as opposed to, like, genre spoofing. And, you know... When it comes to certain things, I can enjoy that. Like, in Reboot, I loved it in Reboot. But Austin Powers 1 was a great genre spoof. And it sort of set the bar really high. And then when you watch 2, it's like they almost completely do away with the Bond spoofing and decided to just be funny in any way they could think of. And many of them were cheap topical jokes that... If you were to if you were to show them to a kid today, you wouldn't think they were funny because you wouldn't know who a lot of the references were, like the celebrities and the shows and movies that they referenced. Yeah, definitely. All right, so I'm getting the weird feeling that this planet might be full of just zombies. So uh, I'll pick up the recording again when something interesting Things. happens. Hang on. Nah, you. It's uh. not you're not going to replicate it, dude. I'm going to try to. Hang on. Wee! <laughs> this is awesome. Holy shit. Wee! Oh my god. <laughs> Splat. Whoa! Fear me, little zombies. I have the power of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. <laughs> Get fucked. I see you trying to damage my shields. Ain't no thing. Oh god, hang on. Overkill. <laughs> it's still going! I love the frictionless, uh, whenever it hits someone. That's too funny. Alright. So maybe this place will be a little bit more interesting. We've just been fighting through civilian building after civilian building after civilian building, killing zombies for the past, like, 15 minutes. Um, got a feeling this is going to be more zombies. Over there. Yup. <laughs> Excuse me. Come through. <laughs> I'm just letting them deal with it, it's fine. They'll be good. They can do it. Do, do, do. I've got good squad members. They can do all the work for me. I mean, they're both using 
really advanced shit. I don't understand why they wouldn't be able to do that. Unless they're just completely bad. Which I don't think they are. I think they're pretty good. But, uh, whew! Colonial prisoner, or the pioneer. pioneer team really consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. Cerberus group is a lot to answer for here. Download the logs. Looks like they got Cerberus. So that sounded better in my head. Appropriate. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. It's actually. But wait, what's behind door number two? This is literally a giant empty room. <laughs> Why did they even put that room there? <laughs> because all of these uh, caverns are pre-designed. These structures are, and they didn't bother to modify them. Uh, makes sense. Well, mostly. It makes sense from a design standpoint. They could have put... You, you had like three lockers in that other room, though. They could have put one of the lockers in that room just to make it feel like it had some kind of function. They could have spelled high with like crates or something. Yeah. It could have gotten something. Just give me a little bang from a book. That'd be nice. That's all I'm asking for.